Okay, this is Darren Lawson Live coming to you from Southern California here. It's already February 16, 2017, just after 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 4.40 p.m. California time. This is Darren Lawson Live. I'm here three times a day, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on Facebook Live. I just finished my second Facebook Live show, about an hour and a half, sometimes up to an hour, hour and 45 minutes, two hours sometimes. Uh, longer shows on Facebook twice a day. And a recap on YouTube. Here's my recap. I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, mark of the beast. Whoa! I'm reading a great article here, actually, from naturalnews.com. If you haven't heard of the mark of the beast, uh, you will today. The Bible calls a technology that the Antichrist and the false prophet will use on all people in the near future, or, or, or at least try to get it onto all people or in all people in the near future. What? Well, the New World Order has always had this desire, the fallen angels... The New World Order, the demon spirits, have always tried to set up a one-world government on the earth to stop the return of Jesus. That's the bottom line, yeah. The New World Order is basically, uh, their end game, I should say, is to stop the return of Jesus, all right? So they need to get everybody on the earth on the same page. They need everybody to do the same thing. They need everybody to think the same way. They need to go to a cashless society. They don't like cash. The New World Order doesn't like countries operating in in their monetary system. They want one world electronic currency so they can track you and control you. Seriously, yeah. But the good news is, is that while we're here, while born-again, spirit-filled people are on the earth, people that have had their sins washed away in the name of Jesus, those that are hearing and doing what the Scripture is saying in the power of the Spirit of Jesus, we are resisting that. We are exposing that, all right? It's been going on for 6,000 years, yeah. Uh, for 6,000 years, the fallen angels, through their, pe through their people, anybody that would listen and yield themselves to the darkness uh, and do their bidding, uh, the New World Order tried to set up the New World Order. Uh, the forces of darkness tried to set up, I should say, uh, the New World Order for 6,000 years. Yeah, and now we're here at the 2017 mark, <laughs> which is approximately 6,000 years uh, of humanity back to Adam and Eve. This is the 6,000th year, year right now. Yeah, approximately right now, almost to the to the T. All right, and so we're seeing lots of Bible prophecies falling into place. Obama is the Antichrist. Yeah, the biblical Antichrist. We have Pope Hee Francis, the first Jesuit uh, Pope of the, of the Vatican Roman Catholic Church. Well, he's the false prophet that was put into place to kick out Pope Benedict. Bye-bye, Pope Benedict. Yeah. And uh, listen, I have, what, 1,000, let me see, as of today, 1,452 videos. I speak about this all the time. The signs of the times, yeah. The markers showing, telling, revealing what's going on in these last days, according to the Bible, by the power of the Holy Spirit. A lot of people have the Bible, but they're not filled with the Holy Spirit, and they screw the Bible up, yeah. <laughs> Misinterpret it, use it deceitfully, etc., etc. All right. But we're not of that kind, right? Me and you? No way. <laughs> There's got to be some people on the earth that are actually doing what's right. Yeah. And it's by the grace of God, to be honest with you. Because everybody has sinned. Everybody needs Jesus. And uh, it's not worth selling yourself out as a Judas uh, uh, in these last days. What are you, nuts? Are you crazy? Who cares what the fake media says? Uh, if they don't like you, so what? You know, Trump is bashing the New World Order media today, the fake media. I love it, and they're not used to it. <laughs> Who cares what the world thinks, what they say about you? It really only matters what Jesus thinks about you. Oh, because he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is God. Okay, so getting back to the Mark of the Beast. Let me read you probably the most famous famous scripture scriptures on the Mark of the Beast. It's technology that the New World Order will put on people, on people's right hands or foreheads or in their right hands or foreheads. I'm serious, yeah. In which to set up a cashless society, all currency, all currencies will be gone, gone bye-bye. Uh, it'll be a cashless electronic currency. But it, it, it's more than a currency. It is a currency. But it's also uh, all the other uh, forms of information put together on that same system. So yeah, you'll, it'll be a, it'll be your uh, 
it'll be a cashless society. It'll, it'll be your electronic currency, but it, it'll also have all your information on your medic on 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 your on your on your medical from your medical record, records, and and uh, and uh, access to all the other information uh, other information on your life and other people's lives. Okay, so the mark of the beast is a futuristic uh, implementation in the near future, not way down the road, hundreds of years from now. No. In the very near future, the New World Order will go to a cashless society in which they want to track and control everybody. But instead of having a card or a bracelet, they're going to put the devices on and in your right hand and in and on your forehead. Okay. And it uh, could be an implantable chip. It could be some kind of computer skin. There's many technologies they can use. All right, let me read the scriptures to you. Revelation chapter 13 in the Bible, the best book on the earth, this book you can trust. You can't trust CNN. You can't trust ABC, MSNBC, uh, CBS. BS is right. ABC, BBC, even Foxy News. <laughs> you can't trust them. You can trust the Bible, though. The Bible has been proven to be true, unlike the other books. Okay, anyways. Revelation chapter 13, the most famous scriptures on the Mark of the Beast. Uh, Revelation 13, verses 16 and 17. And he... Who's he? Well, this is actually talking about the Pope. Uh, the whole chapter uh, of Revelation chapter 13 of the Bible, the whole 13th chapter is talking about two people. The first half about Obama, the second half about Pope Francis. I'm serious, yeah. So we get down to verse 16. This is talking about Pope Francis's uh, uh, dealings and workings in the New World Order. And he, the Pope, causes all. All means all. He's trying to call, get everybody in on this. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. To receive a mark, a what? A mark. Yeah, if you go into the Greek, it's, it's uh, karagma. C-H-A-R-A-G-M-A, -A -A, right? The New Testament is here in, uh, translated into English from the Greek. Okay. Receive a mark. What? A karagma. What's that? That's the, uh, that's the Greek word for mark and the definition uh, is a stamp, is a scratch etching. Some people even say it's a tattoo, uh, a mark. Uh, but interestingly enough, it, it says in their right hand or in their forehead. So uh, a lot of people have been saying over the years that this could be a uh, microchip, which makes sense because I'm going to read an article right here that just came out uh, yesterday from naturalnews.com, one of my favorite websites on the planet. Companies are, are already implanting employees with microchips. Companies implanting employees with microchips. All right, so uh, when you uh, read information about this, has been going on for years. They've been doing it to cats. They've been doing it to clothes. Now it's becoming more popular for humans, companies. Oh, yeah. Uh, for instance, let me read uh, the first paragraph here. <laughs> if... Ever there was a time to resist the onslaught of, of technology progress to take away your sovereignty, it's now. Several companies in Europe are paving the way for what can only be described as the mark of the beast. Implantable, implantable in your skin, implantable, but really it's in your skin, implantable microchips that are now being injected into the employees' hands in order to give them access to enter buildings and perform various office functions and even pay for their lunches. All right, now let me go back to the scriptures and finish this up. Revelation 13, 16. And he, the Pope, causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Some kind of a techno te technological device. Uh... Now, it's probably all the above. People say, well, maybe it's a tattoo, maybe it's a number, maybe it's a name. It's all, all the above because the next verse says that. To receive a mark, 13, 16, a mark, a karagma, some kind of sculptured figure. Is that, is that a definition? Is that an old definition for microchip? Wow. Because it technically goes on and into your hand. Because it says here, in their right hand or in their foreheads. So uh, I think it's specific that it's going into your skin. 
Now, a lot of the computer skins and technology can be on your skin and in your skin at the same time. So I think the technology uh, could be all the above. It could be the microchip. It could be, or it could be uh, options in different parts of the world. You could, uh, in, in the U.S., in uh, Mexico, in Canada, maybe it'll be the microchip. Maybe in Europe it'll be the uh, temporary tattoos that fit on your, on your skin and actually go into your skin. So all the above. Receive a mark, receive a karagma, C-H-A-R-A-G-M-A, -A -A, some kind of sculptured figure, a stamp, an etching, a scratch. Even referring to the image of the beast, a statue. What? A statue? Can you have a statue in your skin? Oh! In their right hand or in their foreheads. Why? Well, I'm glad you asked. Verse 17. That no person, no man, no human might buy or sell. Here's the cash, cashless society. Now, this is a 2,000-year-old verse. 2,000-year-old verse talking about computer systems might buy or sell. So obviously the Pope, and obviously the Pope, because they're over the, the richest organization on the planet, the Vatican is the richest organization on the planet. So it, it, it's, it's no wonder that the Pope will set up the mark of the beast. Oh, yeah. That's why the Pope can't be quiet now that Trump's president, because it's going against the New World Order and his plan. Now the, now, the, now, the Vatican is running the New World Order by the fallen angels, but, the, but they're not the only ones involved. The Vatican controls the secret societies. The Vatican controls most governments on the planet right now. The BRIC nation numbers are growing, and they're panicking. And the fact that Trump is U.S. president, they're also panicking, the New World Order, because Trump's slowing and resisting their New World Order end game. Oh, Verse 17, Revelation 13, 17, and no man, no person might buy or sell. So this is the total cashless uh, society where people can be tracked and manipulated. What do you mean manipulated? Well, you can't buy or sell, except you have this technology, the mark. Also, the name of the beast. That's why I said uh, it'll be some sort of either microchip, computer skin, uh, some kind of tattoo-like mark or creation or symbol. Because it says the mark, the etching, the implant, the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now these might be uh, options. In one part of the world, you might uh, take the mark, the tattoo skin, maybe, the computer skin. Uh, another area, they may give you the name. It may be a total, it, same technology, but in different form. Another area may be the number. Some people might want the number. Some people might want the microchip. Some people might want this the skin tattoo. May, somebody might just want the number. <clears throat> the technology exists in all these areas. We've been seeing it in movies for years, right? Or it's the microchip including them all. Because in the microchip, you will have all this technology that flashes on your computer screen. So if you take the microchip and you scan it, automatically on the screen comes the tattoo. Oh, there it is. But it comes from the microchip in your, in your right hand or your forehead. So probably the microchip is a fulfillment of all three. The mark, the name, and the number. Yeah. Well, there you go. There, whoop, psh, there's all your information on the screen. There's the tattoo, there's the etching, there's the mark, there's the statue, the statue, there's the image. Oh, and there's the name of the beast as well. And there's a number as well of his name, of the system. All right, let's go back and read this article. <clears throat> now, people always ask, the, the thing that people, when you start talking about the mark of the beast, the name of the beast, the number of his name, uh, people are always wondering, when? <laughs> and will the born-again, spirit-filled Christian be here on the earth when this is implemented? Because as, as I read this article, it's already, uh, the technology is being in, 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 implanted uh, in people, in animals, in clothing, in the military. But I would have to say, and the reason I'm doing this video is to remind people that this technology exists. It's going to be coming upon the whole planet. And listen, the Bible warns that if you take this mark of the beast, the name of the beast or the number of his name, in your right hand or in your forehead, during the great tribulation period, you will be damned forever. You will never be able to go to heaven. You will never be able to be saved. 
I'm just saying that. You have to say that. Now, Daryl, do you think it's going to be after the rapture? Oh, yeah, 100%, of course. And that's, what I want. that's why I'm doing this video. I want to get the information out, but I want to re reassure people that this mark of the beast, the name of the beast, the number of his name, this microchipping uh, through Obama and the Pope uh, will hit the planet after the next rapture. And I'll show you that in scripture. Let me read the article first, or some of the article. <clears throat> All right. So uh, it says, uh, Europe is paving the way uh, with implantable microchips that are now being injected into employees in their hands, giving the employees easy access to buildings and other office functions, and even paying for their lunches. All right. It might not be a common trend just yet, but microchips in the body, something the Holy Bible warns about, is creeping its way into the mainstream. The UK Daily Mail recently reported on a marketing firm in Belgium, which is no surprise because I've been hearing for years, ever since I was a kid, that the Beast computer system was first implemented in Brussels, Belgium. Yeah. Uh, so a marketing firm out of Belgium known as New Fusion already uses this technology in its employees. And another company uh, in Sweden also is doing the same thing. And uh, listen, this is happening more and more. According to experts, a small chip roughly the size of a grain of rice is inserted between the thumb and index finger of an employee's hand. This chip holds personal and security information. That's why, uh, which is wirely transmitted from the hand to receivers which helps you perform functions or engage in transactions. So what does it hold? Personal and security information. That's why when I read these verses, the mark, the name, and the number of his name may be all included in one microchip and probably is, yeah. That's probably the easiest way to uh, do this worldwide. I pro probably the microchip is probably going to be uh, used around the world more so than maybe a uh, temporary tattoo on your right hand or your forehead, but I'm not going to rule that out. Like I said, uh, very soon time will tell what they're going to use. All right, let me just finish this article right here. <clears throat> very interesting article. Um, small chip as a grain of rice put in uh, between the thumb and the index finger. The chips that Bel Belgian company uses cost about 100 bucks, And they allow employees to access the company's IT systems, headquarters, without a typical key fob or external device, whatever. The perks of the technology include not having to haul around your wallet or the keys. Simply wave your hand and your wish is granted, right? <clears throat> Very interesting. Though injectable microchips are not widely used in the USA, it's probably what uh, whatever happens in Europe will end up here. Report indicates that some 10,000 people throughout the world have already have this technology in their bodies. It's cutting edge and convenient, right? Bringing your life to simplicity, right? And, of course, they're going to tout and uh, herald its a security. It's your security. <clears throat> I understand why they do it. But I also understand what's, what's going to be used in the near future as a new world order, one world government system. All right which is what we're seeing right now in its initial stages, but this is not the mark of the beast yet. Just because your dog or cat has an implantable device uh, or a microchip doesn't mean they're part of the beast system. And I'll show you that in scriptures here in a moment. <laughs> My cat's of the devil. <laughs> no, your cat's not of the devil. <laughs> your, may cat some, your, your cat may sometimes act like it's of the devil. <laughs> The private sector's gradual ad ad adoption of RFID microchipping technology, which is radio frequency identification technology, for employees appears to be uh, a test run, right? And governments are using that more and more. Uh, using it for your own good. Right? This is for you. We're doing it for you, man. Obamacare's for you. Oh, don't forget, Obamacare is a law in the U.S., but really the Obamacare is meant for the world. Obamacare basically is the foundation of the Mark of the Beast system. That's why uh, uh, it needs to be repealed like yesterday. Yeah, Mark of the Beast uh, system. Now, it's going to happen, uh, but they may drag their feet on getting rid of Obamacare because Obamacare basically, if you un unwrap it, is 
the mark of the beast system. It has the information in there to get everybody uh, microchipped. Yeah, under the implantable devices section. I'm serious. Yeah, that's why it's so big and large to include everybody. So I, I, I hope it gets destroyed and then in the future it will come back in one form or another. But I wouldn't be surprised if they keep Obamacare around to drag their feet. Listen, the mark of the beast is coming in. It's just a matter of when and how. Uh, and if they kill Obamacare, something else will pop up and they'll do it anyways, right? Okay. Well, what did you expect Obama the Antichrist to come up with? <laughs> something good? <laughs> Obamacare bad. All right, uh, I'll just read a, a few more paragraphs here. The military is already testing RFID microchips for soldiers. Actually, not only testing, but they're already using it. It's, it's highly secretive, but the military is already micro, microchipping the soldiers. Some say even without their knowledge. Ooh, but it's a big hush-hush. And even police, I think, that I've heard reports that they're also being microchipped as well right now. The military is already using this. For soldiers, uh, as are drug companies like uh, GSK, GlaxoSmithKline, the plan to use microchips for medical purposes, yes, for your benefit, man. It's only a matter of time before microchipping becomes the logical next step for, maintain, for maintaining a, a, an advanced, civilized society. Yeah. Wow. You might say that sounds crazy, the article says, but if you've been to Disneyland or Disney World... In the last 10 years, you'll see how ready and willing people are to scan their fingers and give up their biometric information uh, for convenience. Yeah. Well, actually, Disneyland, Disney World, uh, they are working closely and have been probably since the beginning with the CIA and the New World Order as testing grounds for all these all these new uh, technologies. Yeah, for the New World Order. Yeah. Well, what do you expect? Uh, they worship magic. The New World Order is a is a demonic. Uh, government government plan that deals with demons and wicked spirits and uh, real magic. So, you know, when organizations like Disneyland, Disney World worship magic, of course they're going to be involved somehow with the New World Order. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's not a secret. You can go back anywhere and do research on Disneyland and their connection with the CIA and the New World Order and secret societies. Yeah. Wow. Sure, there's an, uh, an opt-out option now, but does anyone actually bother uh, to do that? And uh, in the future, uh, for safety and convenience, uh, won't everybody get it? Well, I'm saying hello. Now, I want to read you some scriptures uh, just to uh, put in here, just to ease your mind. Now, listen, Jesus is about to return to the planet. The next rapture, I'm calling the next rapture the Great Hut. We say, what do you mean, great hug? Well, you know, uh, it's kind of like Jesus is hugging people from the earth and taking them to heaven. Listen, it happened to Enoch. It happened to Elijah. Jesus was raptured. It's, it's all throughout the Bible. Raptures, watch my video and my videos on the rapture and the raptures of the past and ones to come in the future. Uh, on DarylLawson.com, go to my YouTube channel. Or just type any Yahoo, Bing, Google, Opera, Daryl Lawson, YouTube video, Rapture, it'll pop up. And lots of videos of that will pop up. All right. Let me read some scriptures here to uh, clarify stuff. Because, uh, like I said, people are wondering, hey, uh, did I take the mark of the beast uh, already? Are the soldiers? Are the police? Did my cat take the mark of the beast? <laughs> Revelation 3, chapter 3, verse 10, it says... Uh, Jesus is actually speaking here uh, in person. Jesus said, because you've kept the word of my patience, you've kept the word, you've kept the word, you've kept the word, not somebody else, you've kept the word. I will keep you from the hour of temptation, oh, which shall come upon all the world to test, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Now, Revelation 3.10 is amazing because it's actually giving us a phrase of or a description of the uh, 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 of the great tribulation. Instead of using the word great tribulation, it's using the word the words hour of temptation or hour of testing, which shall come upon all the world. What? But Jesus said, if you keep His word, if you get born again, get spirit filled, and keep His word, He will keep you. Oh, from the hour of temptation. What? Which shall come upon all the world to try or test them. Well, he's talking about the mark of the beast, because what's going to happen is people are going to have, have the choice. Hey, take the mark of the beast or you can't buy or sell. You're going to die. So that's the, that's the hour of temptation. That's the trying, the testing that comes upon the whole world. 
Now, there's always been uh, uh, wars and rumors of wars and temptations and attacks, but this is a one-world system in the near future that will engulf the whole world, and everybody will be will be tempted, tested, tried. You take the mark of the beast, or you die. You can't buy yourself. Now, the Christians won't be here. The born-again, spirit-filled Christians will not be here. Jesus said, because you keep the word of my patience, I will keep you from the mark of the beast. So that's why I know your cat's not the devil. <laughs> that, the tech, listen, the technology is not that great anyways, because a lot of the technology, the, the implants, the, the, uh, the microchips are actually causing cancer which may be why the plagues come on the mark of the, uh, on the on the beast the kingdom of the beast during the great tribulation period. Yeah, so these implants may cause a lot of health problems as well. Yeah. So and that's uh widely known if you just do your research. Yeah. So because you have kept the word of my patience, I will keep you from the great tribulation from the hour. Now notice it doesn't say 24 hours. It's a short period of time. When the next rapture happens, there will be a void. The the, the power Christians will be gone. The people left behind will be uh, uh, lukewarm, backslidden, uh, yeah, fake Christians, like fake news. So they'll be left behind, and a lot of them will get right and say, uh-oh, I missed the boat, man. I missed the rapture. I better get right. So they're going to have to start practicing the work, doing the work, praying. But they're going to be newbies. They're going to be inexperienced. They're going to be weak. So the New World Order will have a heyday to go forth and push their agenda, but it'll be an agenda, but it'll just be a short period of time. It says here the hour of temptation, not 24 hours. All right. But it will hit the whole world, not just a section, not just the U.S., not just North America, all seven continents, the whole planet. Come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. So this is what I'm saying. The mark of the beast system in which everybody is uh, tried, tested, uh, given the ultimatum. Take the mark of the beast or you're going to die. You, you can't buy or sell. You're going to starve to death. Well, that's not, Jesus said that's not, gonna, that's not gonna be happening until we're gone. I will keep you because you've kept the word of my patience. I will keep you from this. <laughs> Boomba, so I'm confident saying that we're not gonna be here. See, there you go. And then don't forget Luke 21, 36. Watch ye therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things. Oh, it shall come to pass and you shall stand before the Son of Man. First, uh, I jump back, verse 35, 21, 35, Luke. For as a snare, a snare, a trap, shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth. Right? So the great tribulation, this snare, this trap, this hour of temptation, this uh, uh, testing to try them, this mark of the beast system, again, will not be implemented until we leave. Jesus said that you may be counted worthy to escape. This is talking about the next rapture. Oh, in your face, Revelation 3.10, Luke 21.36, all right? And then I threw in a, a, a few other verses here, Mark, Mark chapter 13, verse 20. Except Jesus shortens those days, he's obviously referring again to the hour of temptation. It'll be a short period of time, and he says it right here. Jesus will shorten those days. He says, if Jesus didn't do it, nobody would be saved. But, I, but for the elect's sake, whom he has chosen, he has shortened those days. He's talking again about the Great Tribulation period being a very short period of time. Uh, I would have to say that the Antichrist will continue in the near future for about 42 months, right? Which is about three and a half years. That's probably the length of the Great Tribulation period. Mark, Matthew 24, 22, except those days should be shortened. There should no flesh or humans be saved. Wow. So, with these verses and many other verses, uh, when I'm reading articles like this, yes, it is coming. The technology exists now. People are being microchipped right now. The technology is in animals, on clothing. People are now being uh, microchipped, but it's not the mark of the beast system. These verses in the Bible are plain and clear that the mark of the beast system, in which if people take it, will be damned forever, has not been issued on the planet yet. But... It's coming very soon. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help people to understand what these scriptures mean, what's really happening in these last days. Let people see the signs. Let people see your scriptures coming to pass. Let people get born again, spirit filled. Jesus, wash my sins away, fill me with your Holy Spirit. That's what it means. Before it's too late, and stay born again, spirit filled, and do the word in these last days. Thank you, Father, by your spirit, let your kingdom come. 
that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven every day. In Jesus' name, by your spirit, amen. All right, Daryl Lawson Live signing off. 29 minutes, almost 30 minutes on the, on the, on the nose right here. Wanted to give you a heads up and an update on the mark of the beast. Your cat is not the devil. <laughs> it's coming in the near future. It's not here yet. The technology is here, but the mark of the beast hasn't been put on the earth yet. It's coming, but not yet. DarylLawson.com is where you can find all my videos. Like I said, I have 1,452, including this one as of today, videos that I've done personally on my YouTube channel, but see all my other social media as well. DarylLawson.com. All right, I love you guys. I will see you, like I said, Monday through Friday. Uh, two Facebook live programs a day, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. with a recap here on YouTube. DarylLawson.com. I love you. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.